Hey y'all, Mark with 11 Aviation here and a Kodiak 900. Today we are gonna learn how to start a Kodiak 900 with the Dash 140A PT6. Guys, here we are back in the Kodiak 900 cockpit, and I'm gonna go through, normally I wouldn't be wearing my headset in this uh, phase of flight, but just so I can talk to you guys and it doesn't get super loud with the engine, we're gonna go through again the start sequence. So I had the battery master on, PFD1, MFD lit up. I got all my engine gauges. We have all the things we need to have. Then I'm gonna bring my fuel pump through standby up into fuel pump on, confirm I have fuel pressure, and then I'm gonna go up with the starter. And it's a little bit different in the 900. There's sort of a two stage starting sequence. So I'm gonna hold the starter the entire start sequence. So that's important because uh, we don't wanna let it go. We don't have fade or anything like that. So here we go up. I'm watching my NG rise. Once I get to 12% or higher, I'm gonna bring fuel to low idle. And then I continue to hold the starter. As I monitor ITT, make sure it stays in the green. And then once my NG gets to 62 or higher, I can let that go. There's sort of that second, secondary start, and there's 62. I'm gonna let the starter go. Now I'm started, everything's good. After start checklist, I'm gonna go fuel pump to standby, generator switch on, alternator on, and that energizes my main buses because they're in auto as well as my auxiliary bus. So now after that, I'm gonna bring the prop to max RPM. And I like to go ahead and set my 20 degree takeoff flaps here as well. And then I'm also, we're in uh, August in Texas, so I'm gonna turn on some air conditioning. The nice thing in the 900, we don't have to add extra engine power to uh, add AC on the ground. We can just turn it on, so it makes it a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna monitor, again, Garmin and Kodiak make things really easy, as long as everything's green we're good to go. Battery amps is a little high, but that's just because it's recharging the battery from all of the non-GPU uh, battery work that we just did on the ground. Oh, well, there you go. And that's how you start a Kodiak 900. Appreciate you guys watching. We here at 11 Aviation have a team of people that specialize in Kodiak training, both initial and recurrent. We also do management and sales. If you guys are interested in learning more about the Kodiak or interested in training, drop us a note. Our contact details are below. As always, I'm Mark Brown. Really appreciate you guys watching. It would help us a lot if you hit that subscribe button. Catch you guys on the next video.